Hi, my name is Gustavo Arisa, and today we are going to discuss about how you can improve your APIs. You are using Kubernetes, for example. You can set the daemon set to intersect the APIs cluster. And with that, you can analyze what APIs keeping in the inventory or is going to be uh, discarded because they belong to a legacy infrastructure, for example. Uh, using this technique, you can monitor what or which are the APIs you need to keep it tracking. After identify that, you need to go directly to the GTP to classify. The power of GTPs will classify the APIs. In the middle is probably using a security posture or using authentication mechanisms. Uh, that means OAuth authentication, another type of authentication. Also keeping the monitoring and performance and the encryptions. After that, you need security integration with APIs. When you're ready, using the ability to detect what is the, well, the step once and the step two, you need to go to implement a static code review and dynamic code review inside of the API infrastructure. For the API, check GTP, or, 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 but not check GTP, a GTP you can customize per se, per se. For example, we're using ATAS, the one we are created before. We put in the knowledge database, the files to these GTP scanning vulnerabilities. After that, the training and the monitoring, training of the developers and monitoring of the keep monitoring the factor too. But now for this example, we are going to take a picture about uh, infrastructure. Uh, the first step is using an uh, open source infrastructure image. In this case, it's a Wikipedia infrastructure they use for all the blog and articles they publish. We save the image and we jump directly to uh, the GTP, in this case, ATAS. When we are in ATAS, the only thing we need to do is load the image. And the idea is to load the image to see what is the improved this architecture can correct for a uh, profound analysis from GTP. Um, first, from there, we only need to ask him, you can give me what are, or which are the improved, and also, uh, not only the architecture, and also we can add the fact we need to also see what are the security measures we need to implement it. Bam, bam, bam. After a couple of seconds, probably one minute or two, it depends on the component, the architecture, the again hub. Uh, we can see here, he mentioned, but we can see first the architecture. The architecture telling me he, we have a persistence database, we have API, we have extractors, we have a, a synchronizers to see uh, the state of the APIs and the database consultancy between the information flow between the two components to see what is the current status and no miss any problem. They also using a stat cache for avoid multiple consultations at the same time directly in the database. From there, you also have a view rates to uh, present the web front end. They using the model view system or programming. Uh, we had the general Wikipedia API and we had the pay view API. The first recommendation we got is uh, separate, separate sorry, the components that allow you to us, for example, uh, see the difference between the two business models. 
and they recommend to us using containers and orchestration tools for deploying this device. Uh, for the caching layer, they recommend to us using the technology Redis and Mencachet. Any of these two are perfect for this scenario. And the high availability, they recommend to us we using cloud or distribute for distribute uh, or distribute the database in different on premise infrastructure. I know matter if the cloud is on premise or the cloud is public using one of the bigger servers. And we we jump directly to the recommendations. See, tell to us we need to using, for example, SAS and DAS. For DAS, you can see there the image. For SAS, you can use in this GTP, for example, because we already trained it for identify vulnerabilities in the code line. Or you can using an API between a GTP. Well, using an API between the GTP and U solution. Now we are taking the example of what is, is um, a common vulnerability, SQL injection. We put in the chat for show you my point about he, it, and it is ATA already can detect and fix vulnerabilities. Like you can see here, we have SQL injection, the same vulnerability type we have in this documentation page where we took the example and he is going to give you a description also an exposure on uh, to an authorized access is the second vulnerability. The third one is uh, improper input validation. This is more specific compared to the old documentation we found where we found the, the goal lines with, vulnerabil with the vulnerability SQL injection. Also, we have a uh, mitigation strategies. He used this class proper statements. And from there, you can set, for example, test user ID is an integer. And we need to validate or we set with a class or review that parameter is an integer value. You also have a white list and you have a, the use or store procedures for cast the parameters directly in the database and not put the recommendations or the features in the application per se. Because the store procedures are located in the database SQL in this case. They, they are business models of views. Yeah, we can call it views or um, business model logic in the database. You also have views for separate instance. Now we are going to generate or asking to this GTP to generate a new diagram uh, with all the input he detect not only in the architecture, but also in the security. Uh, you can see here we have a real base access control, RBAC. We also have the using of sanitations. the connection between API server mm, input validation and sanitation in the top. We also have secure UC data management system. Well, and that was it.
thank you for seeing this video. If you have any doubt, please contact us directly. And uh, we let the information of the GTP in the description box of this video. And thank you.